Oh, I'm sorry. We are on the wrong project here. So we <laughs> we are doing a little podcast here called Spare Parts, and um, I am happy to welcome the first guest, also on the first episode, Connor Young. What's up? Yeah. You can hear me, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. So, um, me and Connor, Connor and I, I don't know, English. Uh, we worked at RC Willie together for a couple years. It was a couple years back in the warehouse. Yes. Fuck that I, place. I always worked in the Just warehouse because I'm dumb. And, <laughs> and Connor was a salesman for a little bit. Well, he sold laptops. so I don't consider myself a real salesman. It, I don't know <laughs> if it counts. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, he is in town for a couple weeks, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here till August. Okay. None of it matters, but he is in the Air Force, right? Yeah. Air Force. <laughs> in the Air Force for a couple of years now. So two years. Stationed, well, over two years. Stationed where? Stationed in Florida. Where at? Uh Patrick Air Force Base. Patrick Air Force no, Base. Knows what where? Time, but hey, it's okay. You know what? Someone might relate to you. So okay. <laughs> someone might know. Someone might know. So, um this podcast I wanted to really start to um, I don't know, just have some fun with, uh, talking about, you know, our life stories and the, the events in our lives that have created us, uh, into the people that we are today. And also just kind of like touching base on mental health and how those, uh, you know, landmark, I don't know if that's the right word, uh, yeah. events in our lives ha have, uh, affected us mentally but, like, we want to have some fun with it, you know, because I think that the greatest medicine in life is laughter and music, but that is another topic. So, um, let's get started, man. I'm excited. Um, so, let's talk about the military. <laughs> what, do wanna, what, do you, what do you want to know? Okay. What do you know? I don't want to get into, like, anything that's going to, like, piss off people, but I want to know, okay, maybe we shouldn't, <laughs> tell, tell me your true opinion about what it's like to be in the military, because I have no clue. Uh, I mean, okay, being in the military get is yourself actually... into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I can't really get myself into trouble. Being in the military yeah. is actually pretty, uh, it's a pretty chill gig. I, um... I was that kid that planned on going to college and going that route in life. And obviously it didn't work. One, college is expensive. Two, um, you know, it's not for everyone. It wasn't for me. But uh, I don't know. I, uh, I looked into it and I felt like this is the route to go. It's not, the military isn't exactly what everyone seems it's not, you know, seems it is to be. Uh, people think it's going out in some other country. Vain some place shooting, shooting some, people. some terrorists, <laughs> god damn it, for America. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's a uh, it's 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 not bad. I like it. I, I consider it. I mean, w with, with what I do, it's just a it's just a job that that pays well, uh, provides what I need. I get my my health care, my benefits, go back to school for free. So, you know, it's just kind of that route. I mean, it's a lot better than doing what a lot of people I know do back home do here. So yeah plus you know a little patriotism that goes i know i love this country it's not you know it's not bad to go and go and serve yeah. a country for a little bit hell yeah you got more cojones than me i will say that because yeah. I, I i thought about joining the army um for a while like um probably when i was about 18 i really wanted to like join the army i really wanted to be a helicopter pilot i don't know why and and then it like came to a point where it was like uh, like, do I go on a mission? Yes, I'm Mormon, by the way. Uh, do I go on a mission or do I uh, join the military? Let me rephrase that. I used to be Mormon. And, <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, wait. Well, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not Mormon. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> used to be once upon a time. But, um, yeah, and I just kind of like once. I, so I decided to go on a mission, and then I was like, okay, maybe I'll join the Army when I get back home. And... Um, and then, like, once I left on my mission, I was like, this sucks to leave home. Like, I do not like being away from home. 
And it's it's not like being away from Idaho. Like I I learned to love Virginia where I went, but it was just being away from family and stuff. And yeah, it was a different experience because on your mission you're only like allowed to email basically and call right. home like twice a year. So it's definitely a different kind of homesick. But also, you know, there was the thought that was like, okay, if, well, if I go into the military, it's like, I might not come home. <laughs> I was like, with the with the mission, you know, I knew that there was a 99% chance that I was coming home. There was a couple times where I had guns pulled on me where I was like, all right, <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> I might not come home. Yeah, I might not come home. Yeah, not come yeah. home. <laughs> but, You've probably seen more shit than I have. No. <laughs> so, yeah, like, what exactly do you do i'm sure i've asked you but just for the people listening what so so the military you know people get the generalization that you're out shooting people taking terrorists doing all that crazy stuff uh but i've actually uh i work a boring desk job i work as a a seismic analyst so i i look at earthquakes all day it's what i do four days a week um it's actually really chill you know um can't complain about what i do i like what i do it's kind of the nerdy side of the military um I don't know. It's not your typical military job, uh, but the, but that's pretty much it. I mean, nothing exciting, nothing crazy. So you record earthquakes. I do. That's what you're telling I me. I do. I, yeah, we look at them. So we look at them. Who detected? I've heard this story. I don't know if it's true that the Foo Fighters, your favorite band, set off the I don't know Richter scale. I'm retarded. I don't know <laughs> the. Uh, <laughs> They set off the seismographs thing with the Foo it, Fighters concert. Was that true? It, it is true. Okay. We may not have seen it. They got a... Uh, it wasn't got, the military? No. Oh, okay. They got seismometers all around the world. Oh, okay. Especially all around the country. Uh, all the states look into it. There's a lot of people that look into it. Not a lot of people that do what we do. Um, but on that, we probably picked out. That, that was before I joined. So... Um, none of that we would see. We'd see the bigger stuff. Mm. But... Uh, Definitely some that actually kind of interest me now. It's kind of crazy going in that I didn't really expect too much, and now I'm kind of this earthquake science dude that yeah. knows a lot about a little bit, but it's actually pretty cool. And there was a pretty big one that went off in California yeah. a couple of days ago, right? It was like there a was. seven and something. There was a 6.4, okay. 6.9, followed by a 7.3, so caused a little bit of work for us for a little while, but... Oh, really? Um, it, it did, it did. Even so. in Florida? Yeah, yeah. We uh, we look at earthquakes all around the world. So oh, okay. when we see that stuff going on, you probably on, said that. On. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> it didn't happen in no, Florida. I, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. We're, we're we're talking about military stuff, and yet we're sitting here. And it's like, oh, earthquakes, this earthquakes, that. It just I mean, it just goes to show you that there's a lot of other stuff that the military does that a lot of people don't know about. Yeah, but I, um, a lot of people don't realize that Idaho is just like you know, prone to having some crazy earthquakes. Like, the, they're not very common. They're not very big. But, like, there's been a few that have killed people. Like, there was a few kids that got killed in Ketchum, like, a while back from an earthquake and stuff. And I think it's because we sit on a tectonic plate, like, uh, that connects to, like, Yellowstone and yeah. shit. You know about that? Yep. Tell us more. Because <laughs> I don't know shit. That, that's pretty much it. It's just, a, it's just a plate. Like, the world's made up of plates. We just happen to, to sit around one and when... Uh, when the two plates collide, uh, or not collide, I guess, kind of, depends on the kind of plate when they rub against each other, collide, uh, they cause earthquakes, so, I mean, that's kind of the basic science of earthquakes, nothing too crazy. Yeah. It's kind of what's happening in California, you know, they got the San Andreas Fault, but even though this yeah. one that recently happened wasn't along the San Andreas Fault, which is, you know, kind of had people worried, but, yeah, nothing too crazy, but, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, California. It's uh, some of those places that might fall off the uh, United I States one of these days. Just just because of what? that plat, that play, you know. What is the time for? frame we are looking at here? Because I can't wait. <laughs> there is no time frame. We don't know. Many, okay. <laughs> as often as people want to say they want to predict, no one knew that even this seven something was coming. So you know, yeah. people can say, "Oh, oh, it happened." Wait for the next one. But hey, if we ever get enough listeners, and there's people in Southern California. <laughs> This isn't my official opinion. This, no. isn't the, this isn't the opinion of the Air Force. I'm just no. a young peon in the military. No hard but, you know, 
maybe in the next 10 years we might see California fall off the face of the earth. Oh, I'm God. Just, I'm just kidding. Oh, no. Where will they move to? How about Idaho? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I figure that half the population is already here. You know, that yeah, they are already off in the ocean. Yeah. Come, come their own island and figure it out for themselves. There'll be no one left in Southern California <laughs> by the time it happens. I'll be in Idaho. So. Um, shit. Well, that's, that's pretty crazy. Oh, shit. What was I going to ask about? Oh, we're talking about Yellowstone being on the plates and stuff. And like Yellowstone, this is something that's interested me. This is totally not the topic I wanted to go for this <laughs> podcast, but I don't really care. Um, do you have any secret intel on when Yellowstone might blow up? Yellowstone is going to erupt in the next three years. Th- what? Three years. You fucking with me? <laughs> God. I'm God. just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't he know. He doesn't know. He told me he's got Three fucking years. all sorts of clearances and he <laughs> can't tell me. He hasn't told anybody in case, you know, my FBI guy is out there listening. <laughs> he hasn't told anyone. Three don't years. Don't worry. Three years, though. So I'm just kidding. I better know. get your shit together, all you millennials. <laughs> I'm included. We're both included in that. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that's. That's crazy to think about. That shit could happen at any given moment, you know. And Idaho would be three fucked. years. Three years. So three <laughs> years from now, what's today? I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> July twenty fourth, twenty twenty. Twenty nineteen. Twenty twenty nineteen. Twenty twenty two. I can do simple maths, quick maths. Uh, <laughs> that's when the world is gonna end. At least in the western hemisphere (laughs) i don't know if anyone's listening out in asia if they ever will be but you're safe but where will you get your guns (laughs) not the guns (laughs) god damn it they took your jerk um oh shit all sorts of people snapchatting me but um sorry we got a little derailed here um what i wanted to oh hey this is what i thought about yeah shit that you don't know is gonna come have you ever had any near-death experiences in the military or just in life oh uh, you can just say in life well i don't know <laughs> have you had it in the military no. <laughs> some no, dumbass no. almost point his rifle at you <laughs> no uh, as a surprise me being in the air force we actually work with uh, uh throughout basic training is when you might find out that we're all the the idiots are uh, but we work with training rifles. I've never once held a real weapon. Really? Oh, no, I did. It was for about 20 minutes. Is it minutes. just the Air Force? It's like yeah, that? Oh, yeah, okay. it was about 20 minutes where I held a, a Vietnam era M16. And really? it jammed on me a couple times. Yeah, and I failed my, right. <laughs> my qualification. Other than that, it's the only time I've held a real weapon in the military. Yeah. Um, I heard that in Vietnam, the M16 was so terrible and unreliable that first generation that <laughs> soldiers were picking up ak-47s <laughs> and they were using those they're like i was legit this using a vietnam era m16 <laughs> for our qualification but anyway anyways that's beyond the point it's yeah like yeah i yeah. never picked up a gun now no uh yeah no. i mean you picked up guns but that's been as a civilian <laughs> as a civilian yeah <laughs> uh let's see near-death experiences no no really I've never almost you never, died like, almost had a car accident that was like it could have been bad no now, have I died internally? Of course. I've of had course. plenty of experiences we'll where I've died that. on the inside. <laughs> we'll get to that. But have I almost externally ever died? No. Surprising as it is, I know. Mm. Sorry, I'm in the military. I've never almost died. I'm sorry, all my other branch people. You that... are a failure. I Shit. If I saw you on a plane in your uniform, I'd be like, fuck this guy. He hasn't even seen <laughs> combat. No, I'm just kidding. Fuck hey, much love to the military out there. I just like fucking with this guy. He can take it. You guys can take it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I did have one guy. Um, at, so this is like at my work. I was delivering shit and there was cars on each side of the road. So I had to park in the middle. I had to grab like one box of hardware for for these doors and bring it inside. And so I bring it in. I'm, t- I'm taking my pictures for evidence and shit. And I'm coming back out <clears throat> in this douchebag. And this big old lifted diesel Dodge um, is like, hey, is that your truck? And I'm like, uh, yeah. It's like, you got to move. I got to get home. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I'm literally shutting up the trailer right now. 
no, move it now. And I'm, maybe I hadn't taken pictures yet, and I had to go back in and take pictures. I'm like, just give me one minute <laughs> and stuff. And this guy's like, he's like, you don't fucking want this, bro. Uh, and, like, I see, like, stickers on his truck, like, Iraq veteran and stuff. And I'm like, dude, uh, just his whatever. His boyfriend's waiting for him back yeah. home. You, got, <laughs> you don't want to get in his way. Yeah, dude. And uh, <laughs> so I moved the truck because I was just like, you know what? I don't give a shit. <laughs> Fuck this guy. He's got something else going on that's messing him up. You know what I mean? This guy's got deeper issues. So I moved the truck way down the street, pull it off to the side. This guy's house was like 10 yards away from where he was. He could have parked where he was and walked to his house. And I was like, fuck this guy, you know? like, And like, I, I knew it was kind of like that chip on his shoulder that it was like, I'm in the military, you don't fucking want. This guy was shorter than me. For those of you yep. who don't know, I am Pretty five. Pretty short. Yeah. <laughs> I am 5'7 on a warm day. And this guy was a beanstalk like i was like okay dude whatever you know what i'm over it i'm over it i let it out it's all good i i'm not saying that's the way people in the military are because obviously we have this homeboy right here who is the coolest motherfucker you're ever gonna meet that's in the military so some people Wow. Just have a chip on their shoulder sure. because of it, and they demand respect, and they listen to Five Finger Death Punch, and <laughs> they think they're the shit. <laughs> not this guy. This guy's the shit. So, near-death experiences, none. Got a little Absolute derailed zero. there. <laughs> zero. Um, well, I didn't bring this up to talk about this, but obviously I had a near-death experience uh, three days ago. I hit a deer with my motorcycle. Oh. Yes. Man, and I am all up. bandaged up. And could have been a lot worse. Could have been an elk. There is elk in that area. Could have been a buck. But thankfully, it was just a, a, a doe. It was the doe that uh, was the as the hillbilly that <laughs> took the deer for dinner. He said, oh, she's wet. And he pulls on the teat and shoots out milk. And I'm like, what the fuck? fuck dude i'm not a hunter so i didn't know that was a term she's like oh she's wet pulls on the teat and then he licks his finger with the milk on it i was like you gotta be bullshitting me like this guy's crazy and uh so yeah there's a little baby out there that doesn't have a mama so i feel bad i i killed Sorry, bambi's Bambi. mom but i kind of don't feel bad because i'm real fucked up right now my I elbows can't see this guy but uh yeah, yeah my he's knees. all sorts of up. i took him out and i feel bad <laughs> I'm walking around like C-3PO. I can't bend my elbows. <laughs> or I can't extend them, I should say. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not fun. So I don't really give a shit about We're that. laughing dude. about this, but this dude has road rash on like 80% of his body. And he almost died. <laughs> Why? I was wearing a helmet. Uh, yeah, we're going to laugh about it. I was wearing a helmet. So anybody listening that rides a motorcycle. Wear your fucking helmet. Wear your fucking helmet. In Idaho... There is not a law that requires you to wear a helmet, but there's a lot of things that Idaho is behind the times on, so that's one thing that we should be doing. <laughs> <laughs> Oregon's, you know, so close, and they require them throughout the whole state for everybody. Idaho is just anyone over 18 doesn't have to wear one, so I think it should definitely be a law. Uh, there's too many, too many people out there that don't that don't wear them. I get, like, oh, you want to look badass, you want to wear your do-rag, you want to wear your sunglasses and stuff. Hey, I get it, man. Riding a motorcycle's badass, but you're not going to look so badass when your brains are splattered all over the freaking pavement. Sure. You know what's covered more badass? in deer shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's more badass than do-rags? Death. Death. <laughs> there you go. It's fucking you metal. You <laughs> could have that if you don't wear your goddamn helmet. <laughs> If you live a bleak, boring life <laughs> and you're full of depression, don't wear a helmet. There you go. <laughs> then it'll be a tragedy, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry. We should not talk about that kind of shit. But uh, anyways. So yeah, I'm alive. I am well. And I am just trying to do some fun shit that I've always wanted to do, like this podcast. So um, what I really want to talk about... Like, what, what I want the main, I guess, idea of this podcast is, obviously, it's called Spare Parts, and 
I got that idea from a particular Canadian show that is on Hulu. I don't know if I should say the name, just in case of copywriting stuff. But, um... Avoid all the copyright stuff that makes sense. Yeah, just in case this, you know... Uh, <laughs> yeah, fuck. I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's nah, a show Letter Kenny. Nah, no, nah, it's nah. Letter Kenny. I'll edit it out if it becomes a big deal. It's Letter Kenny. <laughs> but spare parts. You made out of spare parts there, bud? And that's a quote from it. Anyways, sue me. Um, <laughs> Sued. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Spare parts. Like, we came up with the idea. Not not me and Connor, but um, some of my coworkers. We came up with this uh, idea, th- th- this name. Because we are all just messed up. We all have issues. True. We all have true chains. We, <laughs> we all have hardships. We all have trials and tribulations. Um, those always have to go together, by the way. Trials yeah. and tri- you can't have yeah. just trials. You can't, you can't, you can't just, just have tribulations. trials. <laughs> you can't just have tribulations. <laughs> no, you can't just be having tribulations. Uh, <laughs> that's a great Hannibal, Jer- Hannibal Burris <laughs> joke about that. Let's go look that up. Um so, yeah, we, we all have things that are hardships in our life. And we're all just kind of patched up. You know, we all have our vices. We all have our different ways of healing. We all have our ways of dealing with um, just the problems in life. You know, I think we talk so much about if we're physically ill and, you know, like the physical problems that we have that hold us back. But really, you know, the culture and not just America, but the world is thankfully finally changing and it's okay to talk about, you know, mental injuries and problems that we might have from the events that happened in our life uh, lives. And so that's what I really want to make this podcast about is, um, you know, us just being broken and finding a way to shape it into who we are supposed to be and who we want to be. And, um, kind of rambling on here, but anyways, yeah, we're all made us made out of spare parts here. We're all just trying to get by. <laughs> we're, all, we're all just a bunch of Heinz variety. You know, we're all, we're all mutts. We're all, we're all just humans living on this earth, trying to live our best lives. And there's different strokes for different folks. Different things make us happy, you know, and like Connor here, you know, I think the military makes him happy. Does it make you happy? Nothing makes me happy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no um, comment. <laughs> no, it does. Yeah. Uh, my, you know, my biggest thing was finding a sense of purpose, and yes. this gives me a sense of purpose, and it you know makes me feel like I'm doing something. So uh, that's kind of a big thing for me. Uh, traveling the world too, so you know, getting to see some places. Have you traveled like, to a lot of places? Uh, I've traveled to three places. Oh. Uh-huh. They all happen to be inside the United States. <laughs> Hey, you know what? <laughs> One happens to I've be Florida. I've never left the country either. <laughs> One happens to be Tennessee. So Tennessee. Uh, you know, I'm trying. I'm trying. People probably have a better experience than I do. But I got out of the state. I'm visiting. Tennessee no. whisker. <laughs> I was thinking of that. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm happy. I'm happy. It's better than working sales at certain places at certain places oh yeah working I for 11 dollars an hour so oh what complain. place would ever do that sounds like a place <laughs> i used to work for too you know <clears throat> RC Willie. Uh, <laughs> anywho but uh yeah i i know that, that like that makes you happy that that's like your you feel like your purpose and stuff yeah. and i can tell them it, it's fulfilling for you yeah, I don't time. know if it would be fulfilling for me, and that's okay. That's and like, that's what's just awesome about humanity is we all have different things that make us happy. And you know, it, it's only been until recent that um, you know I realized that you know nine to five kind of jobs and manual labor, which is basically all I've ever done, is yeah. you know farming and shit. Um, and, you know, then working at, uh, you know, said Utah company uh, <laughs> and now working at Franklin Building Supply. Great company, by the way. Definitely love the company. But I still, you know, don't get the fulfillment like the, this is my purpose kind of thing. Right. And I realized, you know, that the thing that makes me the most happy is music and, you know, right. not just going to concerts, but. Uh, you know, I've been dabbling in metal vocals and stuff since I was like 16, and 
I just kind of realized that like this is the thing that I I love doing more than anything, and just trying to you know get started with all that and um, recording covers just to try and get my name out there. It's fucking hard because I obviously don't know shit, but. You know, you gotta start somewhere. And I feel, like, a little late to the game, being 25. But, you know what? There's different timelines for different people. And I don't think there would be a better timeline for me and stuff. I had to learn certain things to get the clarity that I have, that I have, that I have now, currently. And, um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's something that kind of, like, burns within within my heart and within my soul that it's like this is what you need to do i have a shitload to learn but this is what i want to do i want to pursue music and you know and i don't want to just pursue music to be like fucking motley Crue. no offense to motley Crue. i think that they're fucking awesome like their music is so cool um but i don't want to do it just for sex drugs and rock and roll you know like i want to do it to try and make a difference and reach out to people who you know maybe have similar ideas you know like i'm different i'm an outcast and um you know nobody understands what i'm going through and you know that was a big thing that i felt being um you know connecting with this metal music growing up in the mormon church it's like that's a big no-no in the mormon church you know being devil music you know and so uh yeah it it was just like i had a moment where i realized it's like you know i need to connect with people that maybe feel like that and so my lyrics uh that i have written and stuff you know i I don't write i don't play instruments so i don't know how exactly how i want it to sound but you know the lyrics that i write are uplifting and positive and they deal with mental health and they deal with um struggle with guilt and faith and and stuff like that and no offense to anybody that has you know, religion or faith and stuff like that. It's just something that didn't work for me anymore. And I had to realize that it wasn't working for me anymore. And I had to do what was best for me and not just to make my family happy. And, you know, we'll get into that some other podcast episode. Um, that's a long fucking story. <laughs> but, um, so tell us, uh, Tell us what's going on with the lady situation. <laughs> jumping in the... They're yeah. In the <laughs> We're now. just fucking making a lane change right here. <laughs> Skirt. Skirt. <laughs> uh, so enough about this this music and this, uh, this, this stuff. Sappy I should, bullshit. I want to hear about the goods. <laughs> how's, how's it going with you? Uh, it's gone pretty shit. Oh. Well, that's What's not it? what I want to <laughs> <laughs> No, it's okay. Um... Oh, man, with the ladies. I'm not a lady killer. I don't know if you guys knew that. You guys probably didn't. Don't let him fool you. If you look at this, man, <laughs> you'll be like, if you're a woman, you'll just be like, I'm fucking soaked. <laughs> but... It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to shoot anti-game, so I know, I know what you guys know what game is. I like to shoot the anti-game and see how fast I can turn a woman off from wanting to get with me. So it's so kind of like a game that I, I do it to myself. You cock block yourself. I do. Do you want to do that? Yes. Oh, why? Yeah. It's funny. It's fun. Okay. <laughs> All right. You I'm know, just kidding. No. I'm into weird humor. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um. You know, to all, all, all the dudes listening, uh, women are kind of overrated. Nothing wow. against. Oh. Uh, nothing. No. Okay. I don't want. <laughs> No, let you go, and I'm not responding. To that. <laughs> go ahead, dig yourself. I can't, in. I can't, I can't, I can't go back from this. No, you know what? I'm you only gonna... mark that spot to delete it. <laughs> no, no, keep it. We're not deleting anything. <laughs> we're keeping this shit. Women are not overrated. I'm kidding, but he I'm loves a... women. I he love. Lo- he respects women. Women. I can confirm. I have recently gotten with a woman. <laughs> I have gotten with sweet women. <laughs> it was a great time. But, but, no, 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 I'm, I'm totally just kidding. Um, I'm kind of at a point in my life where I'm kind of just focusing on myself, kind of doing my own thing. Uh, I know everyone hits that point in their life, but... Uh, and you're 24? You know, I'm 24. Yes. I was in a relationship for six years. Uh, I was with a girl for a long time. 
And now it's just kind of me doing my own thing, focusing on myself. I'm really... she's listening. Do you want to call her out? No. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt she's listening. No, Maybe she wouldn't be listening. <laughs> uh, no, she was great. She was great. Uh, she's married and pregnant now. So, you know, I'm happy oh, for her. Man. Yeah, you know, good for her. I'm happy for her. You think it's her. his? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I don't I, know. I hope so. No, I'm just kidding. No, uh, you know, I guess we'll find out in three months. Yeah. But, uh... She's Polly, right? Yeah. Not polyamorous. She's Polly. No. <laughs> Let me uh, clarify. She's Polly. Is he Polly? No. He's, he's white. white. He's white. He's whiter white. than you. I think he's white. Yeah, if uh, you guys didn't know, my boy Connor here is Japanese American. <laughs> false. I took a. I took a. Uh, what's it called? A DNA test. You know what I found out? You're mostly Literally zero percent Asian. Damn it! <laughs> Literally zero. I'm like 60% German, uh, some percent British, 0% Japanese, Asian, whatever. Oh my god. But, uh, not to offend anyone. I had to say it. It's been like a running joke that Connor because loves of the eyes. Asian. Yeah, he's because got the, the almond eyes. eyes. And I dead serious thought that he was Asian for the longest. I'm like, so you're Japanese, right? Or something like that. And he's like, no. no. And I'm like... I don't know what's going on right okay, now. <laughs> How are you not? <laughs> um, don't want the brown skin or the squinty eyes. Bra- oh. You're not brown. You're, no, you're like I'm olive. Like right you're now. like an olive. I'm yeah. not tanner now. I've been Bro, I'm tanner than you. Yeah, I mean, you not here. This is pink. This is, <laughs> this is I haven't been in Florida for a while. so I'm interested to see what my tan line is going to look like after these scars come. gnarly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry to disgust any of you. Should have a fart oh. mic like they do in your mom's house. <laughs> just get a separate mic just for farts. What are we talking about? Are we talking about women? Yes, yeah, so we were talking about women. Okay, the I mean, ladies' life. We are thirty minutes in. We are halfway done with this, and we have covered nothing. <laughs> the women' life. If you're into that, if that's your thing, go for it. If that's what makes you happy, it's not what makes me happy right now. Not saying that. Literally, I'm just kind of doing my own thing right now. Just focusing on myself. I'm just um, doing my thing. I, I don't, you know, thing. like he was saying, we're gonna go talk, t- you know, talk about music again. I've been a guitar player for yeah. the past, uh, I don't know, eight years of my life. Yeah, but this fucking piece of shit had to move before I could yeah. start a band. So here I am, back at square one. <laughs> we we, we, we we'll record stuff from a distance. You know? Yeah, you know. Uh, I don't but, understand um, the whole recording software, but if we can go to that. <laughs> uh, we're idiots. We need help. We need help with this shit. Yeah, so. Someone can help us, please. Yeah, please. Anyone. Yeah. Literally anyone. <laughs> we'll take help from anyone that knows anything more than we do. Yeah. Which is probably anyone. Like, if you own an iPhone, you're already, like, better off. <laughs> I don't know. We're too, yeah, we're too poor for that shit. <laughs> I think my phone's like an S. What's the oldest one? Like an S3? I, no, I got... It's not that old. I got S7. This is my sister's oh. old phone, bro. <laughs> I got the, it's waterproof, though. Someone help. It is waterproof. I fell into the Payette River, and it still works. So, hey. That's all Someone I fucking help, need. please. Uh, um, no. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm a... Uh, for anyone out there, I'm a giant video game nerd. Mm. So, you know, I've just been kind of... What's your gamer tag? Uh, do you want to put that out there? Do no, I don't not? have a gamer tag. Yeah. Oh wait, are you PlayStation? No. Oh, you're PC. Yeah. So I'm I don't a big know how PC gamer. Any is... PC gamer is you have a Twitch? Late. No, I don't have a Twitch. I don't live stream. Uh, I watch a lot of Twitch. It's hot as balls in here. I know. I'm just running my <laughs> Sorry, I wish I had a fan. I'll get a fan. <laughs> um. What, what, I play. I, mean, uh, I play World of Warcraft. Do you have a u- username on every? game is no. different yeah every game is different you have a different user every game is different i just play oh play world God, of warcraft for anyone confusing. that's for anyone anyone that's interested Big wow you know, I'm, a, I'm a air force guitar playing world of warcraft player what's so. your tag on world of warcraft i don't know you don't know i don't okay. know because it includes know. a name and numbers and i can get it to anyone if they care it was an automatically uh, created one for it was it. Yeah. <laughs> i created this when i was 14 Back, uh, how long is WoW been out? Yeah, about fourteen. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I you know, we've we've kind of sidetracked from for sixty nine, sixty nine. We've sidetracked from the the lady conversation, but yeah. obviously this is the reason because we're talking about video games yeah. now, which is the reason that now they're real wet. <laughs> now they're, it's the reason why you don't attract to me. I'm just kidding. No. For all you uh, ladies out there, the video gamer dudes, they're the most Moist. loyal. So, no. Yeah. 
anyone out there that's not into the, uh, the cheating fuck boys just uh you know, those video games what games that's where it's we, at what games did we used to play i don't we when you had the ps4 we would oh, play battlefield, battlefield. battlefield. Except, you know, my shit. dude battlefield one you remember <laughs> my console did not like that game and it would force close all the crash all the time it's like the only game my console did not like and it would just crash all the time it's the like first generation ps4 i need a new one <laughs> And, yeah, it would crash all the time. But, yo, I would get shit done in those planes, though, Dude, right? Battlefield, I would wreck. I would be, like, 50 and 1. Battlefield <laughs> Battlefield is where it's at. Nothing against all the Call of Duty players. Battlefield is pretty dope. But grow up. But, you're 8 years old. That's all there is to it. <laughs> but, have you seen the new Call of Duty? No. Oh. I don't really follow any video game news anymore. I just play, like, offline shit. I've been playing Far Cry shit no okay. okay if you're into uh, oh this is a small room i should not have done that <laughs> i hope you're that picked I'm up on the mic speak, i'm gonna speak through two filters now <laughs> if you're into like battlefield that kind of gameplay oh. rainbow rainbow six rainbow six siege siege i have not played that is that fun yeah call of duty modern warfare the new one that's where you're gonna want to be the new modern warfare new is, modern warfare so is it a remake of the first one no okay i was gonna brand say that new one game. sick brand new game modern warfare hmm just a shout out to Treyarch or Activision, whichever uh, one. You know, if you want to sponsor this Infinite, show, that's Infinity. Infinity, yeah. Infinity, Infinity, yeah. Infinity, Infinity, Activision. Infinity, yeah. You know, what's the What's the people that make? All you know, those video game guys. You yeah, know, video if you game want to fucking sponsor us, you know. You know. Um, just trying to think of these. Uh, you know, Dollar Shave Club, Hims. You know, <laughs> you wanna you wanna sponsor us? That'd be cool if you ever get a hold of this. Uh, I've used Dollar Shave Club stuff. Uh, it's given me the best shave that I've ever had. I shaved my balls one time and it was great. Wow, you used a razor on your nutsack. I did. I, mm-hmm. Dude, you do have balls. It was a Dollar would... Shave Club oh, razor. That hurts just to think about that. Just nicking it. Uh, uh-uh. uh. I've nicked myself with clippers and that's good enough. Now we're talking about manscaping, so yeah. <laughs> I used, I used Dollar, Sh- I'd use Dollar Shave Club on my head when I was bald there for a minute. I was, I was going... Are you not bald anymore? No, dude. I got hair. What? Yeah, I got hair now, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you know, hey, you know what? This what happens what? when you leave for six months and what, you go back to another state. Happens. And... My headphones fell off, but <laughs> yeah, I got, I got hair again. Uh, once my last relationship ended, I just started growing it out because I was like, you know what? I think she enjoyed that more than I did because it was a chore. <laughs> I am balding. I I have uh, quite the bald spot going on, but hey, you nothing. Know. If you're out there and you're struggling with your hair, don't worry about it. That's right. Don't worry about it. You, you know what? Can still get laid. <laughs> This guy gets laid way more than I do. No, I don't. No, so, don't make me sound like a player. No, there you I go. Don't. No, I don't. Uh, but, you weren't telling me that earlier. Okay. Uh, don't. Yeah. Look, I'm not trying to break, right. but I have a full 37 head of hair. minutes, we're going to delete a few things. <laughs> no, nah, it's all good. Look, I have a full head of hair, and I've only been laid twice, so. Wow. All Wait, you balding dudes. What? Okay. Three times. Okay, sorry. Uh, Let's add one more on there. <laughs> You just opened a whole nother can of worms. Hey, it's all good, man. You know, the Bachelor last season, the the main guy, the Colton, he was a he was a virgin. It's pretty crazy. And he had a TV show while he was single. So and he had thirty girlfriends at one time. So yeah, that's hey, true. He probably got laid what? more than anyone has. He didn't do it in the fantasy suites with any of them, them because he didn't do the fantasy suites. Um, I never watched The Bachelor. It's okay. It was a weird season. It, it was totally weird. There was one girl on there who was a step above that. She had not ever kissed anyone. He was her first kiss. How do they get these shows? And then he didn't pick her. <laughs> <laughs> how do they what? How do they get these shows? Like, oh, hey, I'm a virgin and I'm rich, so give me my TV show. Oh, number one, rich. Okay. You have to be rich to be on this show. That's all there is to it. Like, okay. I could Sorry. be a fucking 10, which I'm <laughs> not. <laughs> and, and I'm still, you know, like the same job and everything like that. I could not get on that show. There's only been a few people where it's like, okay, they make like less than. 50k <laughs> like unless they're poor as fuck yeah you peasants <laughs> yeah I, I wish i made 50k <laughs> i'll be sad i'll be setting up for retirement man <laughs> um so you gotta be you gotta be rich you gotta be attractive you gotta be fucking on roids basically like there's none of these Shit. dudes that aren't on roids <laughs> they are yoked and then you also have to be a bit of a narcissist i would say 
I think I can. Because the guys that are good guys and they're quiet, yeah, they don't get any screen time. They right. don't ever get picked. Okay. And you know those dudes are normal dudes. Like they're yeah. good guys. There was a guy that looked just like you, just like you, and his name was Connor. <laughs> and we were pulling it, for him. Yeah, me and my me? ex were pulling for him. He was like, "It's our Connor." <laughs> <laughs> we wanted, you know what? You know was what? So, maybe his name was John. I don't remember. John, <laughs> like, we John like, Connor. We called him Connor. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> you know what? Those bum, dudes bum, go bum, on bum, TV. Bum. Even if they don't win, you know they're going back to their hometown. Hometown. Going back wherever they're from, they open their Tinder account, their Bumble account. They said, I was on The Batch where you probably recognize me. Every and they got laid Bumble. more than than ever before because they were on TV. For oh, for sure. So. There, there's one guy this season that you don't it, they haven't win. talked about it, but he's a musician. <clears throat> like, he's a singer and guitar player. He does, like, eh, it's not really country music, but he, he can do country music. Uh, it's more poppy. But his name is Jed. Yeah, I'm calling you out, homie. <laughs> he he, uh, he had a girlfriend, like, right before he went on the show. Awesome. And he was like, I'm doing this, like, to gain, like, publicity with there you my go. music career. There you go. I was like, damn. <laughs> this focus dude's on yourselves, ruthless. people. Yeah, Whatever just fuck, you got to do. Fuck everyone else. <laughs> Literally anyone else in your life, as long as you're happy. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, shit. But, uh, yeah, what what else should we talk about on here, bud? Mm. I feel like this is kind of like a free realm episode because we have to cover a lot of stuff because you're only going to be here for a little bit. So Yeah, I'm only in town for a little bit. Mm. Uh, that's the unfortunate thing about joining the military is you don't get to come home as often as you want to, but that's all okay. Oh, Gucci. You know another thing yes. about joining the military that yes. sucks? Oh, you yes, You can't tell me. smoke... <laughs> weed dude don't put that on here (laughs) (laughs) oh my recovering pothead co-host uh don't listen to him (laughs) i've never smoked weed yes there you go you don't want to incriminate yourself because you just never know if your fbi guy is listening (laughs) Weed. <laughs> <laughs> just throw one more in there. Weed. I'm just kidding. The devil's lettuce, the jazz cabbage. <laughs> Never done it. I don't know what you're talking about. 420, blaze it. <laughs> I mean, what are they going to do? They're going to drug test me? I, I'm going to test you. You're clean. I'm clean. You're I've clean. never smoked weed. There so. you go. Come at me, FBI Come guy. Come at me. Fucking. Come at me. You don't want this smoke. Base pee people. <laughs> <laughs> you going to fucking storm Area 51? No. No? Are you no. going to be defending Area 51? No. Damn. So you know what I'm going to be doing? I'm just going to be I'm going to be looking at the earthquakes yeah. that are happening because those A10s are going to be coming down like oh, thunder. From Boise. From Bo- <laughs> Yeah. I'm just, I, that whole Area 51 thing is kind of crazy. The fact is It's bananas. The fact is is that it's totally real and everyone should go. Oh, everyone should go because they're gonna die no i'm just no. kidding <laughs> no it's a giant meme it's a giant it's all meme. one meme. there's gonna be 10 dudes that show up in Fortnite shirts and they're gonna be flossing out front and they're gonna be like it's one of those memes that people talk about there's gonna be 300 soldiers with m4s just standing they don't even need the artillery they're just gonna be standing there with m4s and be like have, fuck have you, have you seen the memes from those antifa might show up Antifa. <laughs> no, I just made that up. I don't know. <laughs> this you know just I don't give Antifa a shit. Antifa There's a lot of things I want to apologize for. Fuck Antifa. I don't give a shit. You guys are fucking stupid. <laughs> Antifa will be at Area 51. This just end officially from our podcast. Area 51, Antifa. They both start with A's. I see something going on here. Yeah, there's some Mandela effect going on. <laughs> going on. Mandela. You know what Mandela effect is? <laughs> Yes. You do? It's like, no. okay. Does Pikachu. <laughs> does Pikachu have a black tip on his tail? Yes? No, he does not. <laughs> Dude, is it Bernstein Bears or Bernstein Bears? Bernstein Bears. It's with an A? No. Uh, is it? It is with an A. But I there's can't a copy. Remember. There's been copies found that were like. Bernstein, I E N, or uh-huh. E I uh, fuck, <laughs> E I N, yeah, um, and there's been like um, the whole name comes from like Nelson Mandela, you know, the South African yeah. president, 
maybe? I don't know. I'm stupid. Leader? Uh, yeah, the <laughs> leader. He, a lot of people thought that he died, like, back in the 80s when the whole apartheid thing was going on, but he died, like, in 2013 or something like that. And people were like, I could have sworn. <laughs> he died happened. forever. <laughs> like, and so it's, like, it's this idea that there's two realities that cross over, two dimensions of, like, things that we, like, like, one of the things is, like, Fruit Loops. Like, okay. would, like you think that, like, Fruit Loops is spelt, like, F-O-O-F-R-O-O-T. I think it's, like, actually spelt, like... Fruit, fruit, like, like fruit, like it's like supposed F-R-U-T-E. to be spelled U I U I. Do you sound like me right now? F R U I T. I think that's how it's actually spelled, or it might be the other way around. But it's like some people remember it differently, right? And stuff like it's a, hmm. it's a conspiracy that there's two different dimensions that cross over, but in reality, it's just people can't remember shit. That's what, that's what it really is. <laughs> We're all fucking stupid. Yeah, we're all we try to use stupid. big, oh, smart words. That's a good one. Queen. Yeah, what about Queen? And we are the champions, yeah. my friend. Yeah, What's yeah, the yeah. last line of that song? How does it end? Of the world? Oh, dude! <laughs> this one fucking blew my mind. It doesn't. No, it's uh, it's no. just we are the champions. Yeah, it that's doesn't. How it ends. But there's a different verse that says of the world. But a lot of people uh, think that it ends on of the world. Yeah, you but know? it doesn't. It doesn't. I've been bamboozled bamboozled that one's fucking crazy when i heard that one i was like you gotta be bullshitting me like there's two dimensions <laughs> which jordan am i right now <laughs> if there's two then there's gotta be four and there's four Why then there's four? gotta be eight and there's eight there's gotta be 16 there's gotta be an upside down holy shit are we in the upside down <laughs> <laughs> everything's fake run oh shit <laughs> um we should, do you want to talk about something serious <laughs> like the chemtrails no because oh. I, I don't know anything about it uh, except for there was this one crazy Me neither. dude <laughs> yeah, you neither you know all about it um there was a dude on my mission that was like literally a tinfoil hat wearing <laughs> guy and he was like he's like you don't get vaccines you don't put the f- you know you don't drink the water from the city because it's got fluoride in it it calcifies the pineal gland in your brain and Came trails are putting down toxins in the ground water, and I, this guy was talking for a good this guy forty-five. Sounds crazy. No, he was a super cool dude. He's a really oh. cool guy. <laughs> no, really he was crazy. crazy. <laughs> he was insane. Um, and he's like, he's like, don't get vaccines for your kids. I'm like, oh, cause like the whole like autism thing and stuff. He's right. like, he's like, yeah. He's like, he's like, my daughter's got autism and stuff and. I was like, oh, she get the vaccine? She's like, and he's like, no. And I'm like, <laughs> what's your argument? <laughs> I, are we are we are we wait, allowed what? to are we allowed to give opinions on this? Yeah, on this it book? doesn't Is matter. This fully I mean, don't get too crazy. Vaccinate your children if yeah, you have them. Yeah, I'm, just not, do I'm it. not gonna apologize, but vaccinate. Just do it. Kids. That's just stupid. do it. They're like people take are getting... your kids to the doctor and be like, hey, can I get them their vaccinations? Yes. And... People are getting measles again and shit, and it's like, well, where? It's cause I'm like, no, it's because you're fucking not vaccinating your kids. <laughs> These things haven't been a problem for a hundred years because we've been getting vaccinated. Like, do you know what's crazy? I never got the chicken pox, and I never got the chicken pox vaccine as a kid. I've never got. I got pox. it when I was 19, though. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. I've never gotten chicken pox. Did you get the vaccine? I don't know. Because I went when, when I was in kindergarten. It was before it was required. Maybe. So, I never got it. And I, apparently that's, like, super rare. Like, you're gonna get it, basically, if you didn't get the vaccine. I don't know. <clears throat> At least that's what I was told. <laughs> I've never gotten chicken pox, and I don't know. So, so yeah. You know, but I've, got, I've gotten vaccine. vaccines. That, you know, I probably got the vaccine, you know. You probably my, got the vaccine. My parents were somewhat intelligent, so they did give me my vaccines. Guess what? I don't have autism. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible. Hey, there's high-functioning people with autism. They're high functioning people. Have you seen the movie The autism. Accountant? Yeah, <laughs> I've thought that from time to time because I'm so goddamn awkward. <laughs> I'm like, maybe I think I, everyone I, has a little I got bit of a autism. Touch, I got a touch of Asperger's. I think, <laughs> I think everyone has a little bit of it. Yeah, I think I got like a little bit. Maybe it's just anxiety. But there's sometimes when I'm like around women, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I think Hi. that just could be being a dude. It could be just being or a really guy. freaking awkward. Yeah, maybe, maybe all guys are just slightly off. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. The just dudes that are super, super confident and like 
and just like, yeah, what's up? I'm the shit. And they just like are like that around me. Can like, you message us and tell us how? They're the crazy people in my opinion. Oh, I think they're, they're the ones oh. that are off. Yeah. Help. Plus, okay, the women that Help. like that aren't necessarily the women you want to be going after anyway. You don't like confident women? No, I'm saying... <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying women that go for the dude that's like, yeah, I'm fucking rooster peacocking, you know, like just total douche. We, it's because their dick's too big. That's why. That's right. Their dicks are fucking massive. I wish I had that hog, <laughs> dude. If I had two more inches, I'd be sitting at four, and we'd be fucking sitting pretty. Four, four, hard, hard. Okay, you sit. <laughs> Four inches I, 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 I was on YouTube one time and I saw this interview where these porn stars said that they don't like more than three. Whoa. Maybe it was seven. It was Whoa, probably three. No. It was probably three. Be careful, but what demographic were these porn stars? By chance. White. Oh, really? Well, we're in luck because there's a lot of those. They were the out. women demographic. They were the women. Okay, <laughs> that, that, we're playing it safe. All right, all right. <laughs> Nah, I'm average. I'll, I'll say that. I'm average. You know what? Anybody listening, they want to find out, you can come find out, you know? You can't say that. Yeah, I can't say that. I can't. That sounds super misogynistic. <laughs> can I say that? I don't, I don't know the rules. I don't know the rules of YouTube either, but fuck it. If you live in Florida, <laughs> hit me up. Hit hit up Connor. Can I say your last no. name? No. Okay. No. Nope. Already said, but it's okay. <clears throat> maybe I did. Uh, we are sitting at fifty-one minutes here. Um, we've talked about nothing serious, but that's okay. I think we've had a good time here. Yeah. Um. Well, should, should we end it on something serious? Yeah. Or should we just end it on? Uh, no, no, no. Let's end it on something serious, and then we'll do something really funny at the end. I don't care if it goes a little bit over an hour. That's fine. Okay. Hmm. Something serious we want to talk about. Had okay. Have you taken it in the butt? No. No, damn. I've never mind. I'm not gonna get into that. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that. <laughs> um, later. Later. Different episode, maybe. Um, have you have you uh, gone to therapy or anything like that? I have not. I have not. But I. Uh, have you ever considered it? Ah. Uh, or do you just? Do you not struggle with mental health that much? I, do, I don't really struggle with mental health. Um, I've definitely had, you know, I've definitely been, I, I've never been diagnosed depressed, and I, I've never been one to say that I've had depression or been depressed. I've definitely had my moments where I've sat there and I've, I've contemplated whether, you know, what I was doing was important, whether I liked where I was at. Um, but part of me wants to think that, that that's normal. You know, um, true, true. I don't want to downplay depression or anything, but I feel like a lot of people go through moments when they're they're sad, or they don't know what they're doing in life. They aren't happy, mm-hmm. and I feel like that's totally normal to go through. I've definitely had those moments, uh, even after joining the military. And it's just important to find things that make you make you happy, surround yourself with people that you enjoy. You know, I've definitely had the, the moments in my life where I've alienated myself from anyone that I, I thought I could enjoy time with or just really anyone, um, and that was kind of a bad moment, bad time for me. And I found people that I like doing. Um, I started going to the gym a lot more, mm-hmm. uh, started getting outside, doing things outside. You know, I was born and raised in Idaho. Um, I was big into hiking, camping, all that kind of stuff. There's not a whole lot of that to do in Florida, but I mm-hmm. started getting into uh, to surfing, oh, uh, to kayaking, all that kind of stuff. Um, so just something different, but something that gets me more active, and I've definitely enjoyed my time. Uh, I've been happier. Uh, put a little more time into myself. My, you know, play guitar. Got back into that a lot more. Uh, so just kind of, you know, I know you've talked about mental health and everything, yeah. but, you know, it, it's normal. I, I feel like it's normal to feel down a little bit, uh, to feel a little sad, but it's important to make sure that you surround yourself with things that you enjoy yes. to, to, to put an effort into finding things that make you happy. Um, that, you know, that, that's pretty much it, you know. Yeah. You gotta, you can't just sit there and 
do nothing all the time, and I know I don't want to put on any inoculars. I don't. I'm not downplaying getting help because I did someone who had mental issues, right. and finding help has definitely helped them and improved their life. So this is your ex this is my ex. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but I, uh, you know, just make sure you're trying to find things that 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 you enjoy doing. Um, get outside. Don't sit inside all the time. Get outside. Enjoy the sun. Enjoy Absolutely. the enjoy the winter if you're from a up an area that has winter and you like the cold. I'm one of those weird people that enjoys the Fuck snow. No. I like, love snowboarding. Oh, love no, being in the snow. So, you know, try to find things you enjoy doing. Yeah, exactly. I, I like. I think getting just that vitamin D, being outside, is so helpful. Like all all my favorite things to do, like riding motorcycles that that's temporarily on hold <laughs> right right <laughs> For now, i mean riding you know, those elk can get in the way so those yeah, deer can get in the way yeah, sometimes kind of fucking deer <laughs> soon i will get back up soon. on the hog um but no like camping just being out there in the wilderness and stuff it, it's so helpful it might not be for everybody but I, you know i just think it's like one of those things where you go and you you're out there with just like I don't know how else to put it, but untampered, you know, it, just Mother Earth. Yeah. And so it, it's just like, you can, you can be alone with the Earth, and at the same time, you don't feel alone. Right. Like, you feel, like, you know, connected to the nature and everything, and just hearing the birds chirp and everything, it's so peaceful. And, you know, whether it's hiking, you know, hiking's awesome. You get to see some great vantage points, and rafting's really fun you gain a lot of respect for the you know the power of the river and it's very dangerous but it's it's a lot of fun just to be able to you know experience everything that mother nature has to offer and you know there's countless other things out there you know hunting and stuff i'm not really a hunter but you know there's so many people that love that experience of you know uh harvesting their own food and i, don't know, I get it the self-sufficiency and stuff and Get, being out in nature get away from social media yes you know, if you're yes. someone who except for youtube so you can subscribe and listen right, to this. right. <laughs> youtube's okay but i mean we, we live in a day and age where you hop on instagram you hop on twitter facebook whatever it may be in my space is that still a thing no just kidding it's not 2005 mm, anymore yeah uh, <laughs> bro what are you talking about that's where i'm getting started with music <laughs> <I'm> just <kidding. laughs> Get off your social media sites. You know, you go on there and you see these people doing things and you feel worse about it. I mean, I was the same way. I saw people going on trips and all these yeah. all these things and I felt bad about myself. But it's not... For real. Everyone's life's different. You got to remember that those are the, the, the few people you can't compare your your life to everyone else's lives and figure that you're going to get the same happiness from from someone else. So exactly. take a break from social media if you need to. But, um, plus the only thing that you're seeing on social media is the good times. No one's posting... Right about the fights that they have with their partner. No one's posting about the hard time. Well, I mean, some do. Some overpost. Yeah. But, like, you know, you're only seeing the good days on social media. And it, it makes you, like, look at your own life and you're like, why don't I have good days all the time? Why isn't, you know, my life just full of right. what this feed is and stuff? What Like, you know, my, my stories or whatever that I see, it's just all happy shit. And then you're like, why isn't my life like that? It's like, well, because no one posts that. And they do have hard times and they do have struggles. They do fight with their partner and, and shit like that. But they're not going to talk about that on social media. They don't, no, want, they don't want, want people, everyone wants to have this facade of being perfect and right. stuff. And I think that's the problem with social media. That's why, dude, I'm done with Facebook. The only reason I still have an account technically is to look at it events and concerts because <laughs> yeah. instagram isn't really good at it you know <laughs> i look for the events and then i talk to my grandparents who live in another state right. so that's about, my parents I and my grandparents that's about it out. <laughs> yeah that's I about it you. but you you know you can't compare to yourself to those you yeah. know can't compare to yourself to what you see on your feed because you're just 100%. gonna be disappointed because not those people that are seemingly having the happiest times of their lives 24 living because that's the only thing you see on social media are going through the same exact thing. So 100%. get off of it for a while. And if they aren't, they're lying to yeah, themselves. Yeah, they're lying. Yeah, they're, they're full of shit. That's all there is to it. Go find a hobby. Go do something. Go outside. Uh, 
Follow your dreams. Follow, you know, find something that really intrigues 100%. you and go for it. it. It doesn't even matter if it's something that, like, pays money. Yeah. Either just something to, like, have an escape with, you know. Like with music. Even, even if, like, you know, nothing comes uh, of this, you know, shit that I'm trying to do right now. Just, you know, screwing around with it and doing something that I love and going to concerts and everything. It's so freeing, and it, it, I never feel more alive than when I'm doing that kind of stuff. And it's like it makes me feel happy, whether anything comes of it or not. You know, you don't you don't have to make a career out of these things that you love. Like no one's gonna have a career out of hiking, or, or whatever. You know, like that's not gonna be a thing. But just put in the effort and make the time to do those things that you love. And it, like honestly, it's hard to do that when you are so depressed because you just don't want to go outside. Right. and shit but if you just tell yourself that it's gonna be worth it and you get out there and do it you'll you'll just be like oh shit like yep it is like it's so worth it and it doesn't even have to be you know always stuff that's outside maybe it's just hanging out with good friends that you need to talk to if you're ever feeling like so alone i know this is a big thing like when i was uh, going through that you know that big breakup that i had six months ago oh, shit it's been like seven months the, you know, the number one thing I wanted to do was just hang out with good friends and good people that I could talk to. And it honestly just helped me bounce back from it so quickly. Yep. And so just being around good people who care about you. And you realized how you, you realize how loved you are. And I think the biggest lesson in life, and it, it, it's kind of a lyric that I'm trying to work into a song is love yourself the way that you are loved because you really don't realize how loved you are and how much you mean to so many people and if you can figure out like that that level of love that other people have for you and and feel it towards yourself you will be happy and you will be you know people will be drawn to you cuz you'll have that confidence and stuff and then you'll find someone you know that that you want to bring into your life not like you want to depend on someone for happiness like oh i need to love this person so i can be happy you'll be like hey be a part of my happy journey right you know and i i think that's the best time and the best way to meet that right person and stuff so i don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon for either of us but it will it will one day i i i, I feel that put yourself out there Go find things that you love to do. Go find someone who also enjoys those things. True. And things will happen. Don't don't try to force yourself or force yourself to force yourself into things or force yourself to be into people that mm -hmm. you know you're not compatible with. Um, True. If you focus on yourself, get out and do things that you enjoy doing. You'll find someone who also enjoys those things and will ultimately bring you happiness. Then. Trying to force yourself on one of these Tinder dates with a girl who literally has no interest, or a guy, or anyone that has no interest in anything that you have, or you don't have anything in any interest in anything that they have, and yeah, you're trying to force something on that wants it. it. Yeah, it. Yeah. Just get out there, go enjoy your life, go do things. Uh, that's pretty much it. Amen, brother. So. I think that's a good note to, to end on. You, you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is the first, maybe second, <laughs> episode of Spare Parts. Um, Going to be starting a YouTube channel. I haven't made it yet, so tentatively, Spare Parts 117, because I'm pretty yeah, sure actually. Spare Parts is not taken, and 117 is my go-to number. Shout out to my Halo nerds. <laughs> and um, So yeah, we'll try and get that uh, YouTube channel started, and maybe make an Instagram for it. I've got fucking three Instagrams already. Oh, if you're into heavy metal, uh, go check out uh, my Instagram page, Deathprecon. D E T H P R E C H A U N. <laughs> I think that's how it's spelled. <laughs> it's like it's Death so Leprechaun. I, I'm stupid. I don't know. I thought it was clever because I'm five foot seven and Irish and have a red beard. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, it's trash. I don't know what I'm doing, but hey, you know what? I, 
got a few vocal cover things on there, me dicking around. So if you if you find interest in that, go ahead and give it a follow. You got anything you want to plug on here? Uh, no. I'm not into you're, big social media games. Go find so. him on yeah. Tinder or Bumble <laughs> if you're in. <laughs> I'm just around. I'm he's, just around. He's I'm just, just around. a guy. He's just a he's just a rambling man. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for listening. If you are listening, there's probably one person out there like, oh yeah, I'm your number one fan. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. That's a wrap.